Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have blessed your land. You have forgiven the sins of your people. O Lord, you once favored your land and revived the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. It also has to be our commitment to the Liturgy of the Hours, you know, is to wake up and, and find that that prayer gets us going, gets us reconnected, reminds us of that priestly or sanctifying role that, that we're interceding for constantly. When one is ordained a priest, you, you live out the, the, the calling that we receive at our baptism of priest, prophet, and king. And that turns into the offices of uh, a priest is, is the sanctifier. Um, the, the prophet is the teacher and teaching role that we have. And then also the king, uh, King Lee, would be governance. And so as priest, you try to live out those three roles as best as you can. I find they talk about the grace of not being able to remember. You want to be able to focus into what the person is saying and then be mindful. Once they walk out of that door, the next person walks in, you know, I receive them exactly where they're at. It's almost comical to, for us to, to talk about that. It's, uh, you know, they have people come in and they expect us to remember. It's like, no, we don't. <laughs> and I don't want to. It's, it's, uh, and that's what makes it a joy. You, you truly find yourself to be the Lord for people. And then, like I say, the minute that person walks out there, you start it all over again. But it's so much better when you can have that frame of mind and you can be that much more available to the people who are coming. All. And that's, that's, that's helpful too, to know that you're truly helping the people. And you send your Holy Spirit amongst us here and now for the forgiveness of sins. And through the ministry of the church, may God give you pardon and peace. I absolve you of all your sins. In the, name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, as free you of your sins, go now in peace. So, priests take on as one of the promises that we have is to do the breviary. And uh, you'll find in scripture where it talks about, you know, the, 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 the holy person rises and pray seven times during the course of the day. And in the monastic tradition, that's still maintained. For us as, as priests, we would pray five times a day. Prayer always begins with, Oh God, come to my assistance, as I make the sign of the cross. And then the rest of the participants would say, Oh Lord, make haste to help me. So it's antiphonal. An antiphon is something that is said and then repeated by the rest of the group. And I would say glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit. And then the rest of the uh, participants would say, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And and the prayers are, are, are basically a structure of several psalms. There's usually three psalms that are prayed, short reading that is given, a prayer uh, using one of the canticles of either the canticle of Zechariah or the canticle of Mary, some prayers of the faithful that are given, and so that becomes a part of the morning and evening prayer. Every day, a few times a day, um, multiple times a week, you are having intense experiences that are filled with great meaning. And you, you need your prayer time to be able to integrate those powerful experiences. The person was in hospice. I did the baptism, brought her into the church, and lo and behold, Later on, months later, I saw her at Easter. And I'd rack my brain, I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. That was the person who was in hospice, who was like a couple weeks away from dying. And then I shared with the family afterwards this, yes. After the baptism, there was this miraculous recovery and uh, she went, left the hospital like like a week, a week later. So, so miracles uh, of those magnitudes do happen still. Uh, you, can, you can have amazing things happen along the life of the priest.